Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, like, share, all of that. Link to my website is below in the comments. Today, I'm going to be talking about tiredness, fatigue, laziness, just no zest for life, um, that unwinding of energy burnout, whether you're seeing it in your child or whether you're seeing it in yourself. Today, we're here to merge the two because it's all linked and make sense of this season of life that everyone is starting to really get pulled into. Um, so firstly, I'm going to comment on the children. A lot of mums are starting to go, wow, my child is like fatigued. They can't get out of bed in the morning. If they're homeschooled, they won't even get out in the day or they just can't be bothered to do anything. The old path is to get up and fix your child, like try and make this better. Some mums have been taking their children for like up to iron infusions, trying to find new supplements, spending a lot of time, energy, money on that but they're missing the elephant under the rug, which is the reflection back to self first. You are it. What it does take is a little bit of looking and scanning to start to go, oh, I'm tired too, either physically tired, maybe mentally tired, maybe emotionally tired and spiritually tired. So just take some moments to honour yourself. We are so good at focusing outwards, trying to help and fix whatnot but avoiding the elephant in the room. Once you see it, then you can't unsee it to go, there's definitely a reflection there if your child is presenting like that to make sense of where are you at in your life. Now, there's no coincidence that we as women at this point, particularly as we're starting to get called to the new way, are going to go through a downward spiral, like a retrograde we're being called to let go of things that don't matter to us, leaving jobs, leaving relationships, anything that's been too much energy and having a quiet moment in our life to the point where we can pathologize it. I have burnout. My hormones aren't great. I have insomnia. I have fatigue. I've played out fatigue. I have just this, oh, this heaviness, depression, um, anything. I need to go and fix that. And so then we can get caught on trying to fix it as opposed to looking at, ah. Oh, there's a beautiful reason why we're having this slowing down because as the retrograde happens, we're still moving forward, even though we're slowing down the wave of all the energy that we haven't made sense of, all our emotions, all our stress, everything that we've gone through starts to catch up on us. That's where mums start to find themselves. Oh, wow, I'm really exploring the heart energy. My emotions are coming up. I'm getting called to doing inner work. I'm starting to realize I've got to make sense of all this stuff that is still within me. My health isn't good physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And then your child may be reflecting that exponentially more so. So that child that is tired is also having that season of life. And the exciting thing is they're having that season of life early. And I'm a little jealous. And, you know, we have to go through that to go, wow, if you're having your slowing down and your winding down phase now and you embody it and do it well and tick it off, you're then going to be good to go for who knows how long you're going to be, you know, at the end of this season of making sense of being tired. The goal that I found is I've had to be very discerning with my energy. Who do I spend time with? How much money do I spend? Because that only means I'm going to make more money. Where do I get up and lift a finger where I don't bother? How much am I doing all that doing as opposed to being? So there's so much to explore in that for us as mothers that's empowered not as far as pathologizing and trying to fix. Let go of the professionals, the, the supplements, like all of that stuff and come into an audit of your life. My life, what does it feel like right now to me? What's upsetting me and just making me Ugh, with my life? Um, to the point where my children started prodding at me and anything that would upset me, instead of putting it, you know, spewing onto them, I would come back to, oh, I just huffed when you spilt the milk because it means that that's probably more energy for me to have to do a cleanup. I'm upset that you said you'd hang out the washing and you didn't because that's now going to mean more energy for me to hang it out and actually started boiling right down to I'm tired. Um, you guys fighting again. The biggest thing is I don't have the energy to try and, you know, move through this. Um, so that's the tiredness that we're all playing out to A, unwind, slow down, find the feminine, which is all empowered, beautiful thing to do. B, the slowing down then means the stuff is going to come up and we're going to feel this stuff within us. 
if you stay busy and distracted, well, then yes, you distract yourself from going within and you'll be forever researching and looking up ways to fix and change your child and or you. But once you start to say yes to slowing down, because we all know, especially as females, but, you know, for our hormones, for our health, you have to be going in that direction. There's so much beauty and peace in being able to do that. But of course, it will mean that, yes, the emotions are going to come up and you find yourself in that spot with like, now what? I now have to deal with my emotions and whatnot. And that is the point is we're getting pulled into this, whether we like it or not, um, you know, all in good timing and our own unique unraveling to then be able to go through and, wow, you know, I'm feeling and practicing coming into that vulnerable feminine place to be able to feel what you've gone through. It is now coming time to explore all of that. As you make it about yourself and doing all of this, you're opening the energetic door for your child to, A, look at where they're spending their energy and where they have spent energy in the past, where they've been forced to do stuff that's just not them, School is a great place, but even us, like you need to eat this food, you need to put on a jumper, all of this stuff that they're like, it wasn't me. We're freeing them to be themselves, to have time and space to unpack from the chaos that has been life that as you know, as you can see, us mums got pulled into the chaos when particularly this child has been born, I bet you. And then this child has also had really tough times in coming in. So the two of us have to go gently with ourselves. We have to let go of all the coulds, shoulds, woulds. I think I need to really coming back to the only thing is honoring myself and my health right now, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. The more you do that, the more you you want to, you're driven to hold that same space for your child. You give them a break. You let them be. You know that, you know, cocoon time, this is the time to bunker down, to forget needing to have lots of friends, lots of catch-ups, lots of extracurricular activities, lots of doing and being successful in the world with what we've been taught and actually just having that beautiful space. Then there will come a day where, oh my gosh, we're ready to go out there. Now, your child is not going to get up and do life here on earth until you've slowed down. As you slow down, then they will meet you in the middle and they will pick up. That's the direct energetics that's going on with mother and child when you're in this point. You have to be looking at yourself to go, right, what is needing to get off my plate where have I got things on my plate through pure conditioning? I think I need to do this. No, we have to do that, but we've paid for that. But my husband will have something to say if we don't do that. You really have to smash it all down and allow yourself that space. Some of us are getting burnt out to the point where you have to anyway. And once I started feeling fatigue in myself, I started realizing I better scramble quick or I'm going to get knocked over the head to make sure that I let go of anything that is absolutely not what wants to be. That's the only thing you want on your plate, what wants to be, which is respecting divine timing and your unique soul path, not anything that you think should be. Um, that's a practice. This is what I deal with, you know, with mentorships and my new woman embodiment six month course, um, is helping mums to get to this point of what is, yeah, what, what do I need to have on my plate? Um, being synced back in with your divine path rather than doing it through conditioning and that hurry, hurry, busy, busy, do, do create successful child day myself and all of that. Um, so, yes, it is work to take these things off your plate and it can really bring up a lot of stuff because you have to speak up to people that are involved. You have to let go of big emotions of like, but we paid for that, what a waste of money and, or anything. Then you are in that space to hold, you know, hold the space for your child and fend off other people. They're like, shouldn't they be doing more? Like they need to get off their butt and do something. How are they going to succeed in life if they're not doing anything right now? Um and so my son Hayden had a lot of trauma since the day he was born onwards into school. Finally, we got him out about age 10. He's had years out of school and he is still having his cocoon time. And the more I have realized, oh, I've been placed into scenes for me to have my cocoon time and seeing the beauty and the benefit of it. I'm now holding that space to come back to trust. My child will be fine. I can see the glimmers of gold in him and he brings them out here and there. But for now, he is doing, I'm going to be. And the more you do, the more I'm going to be. 
The more I be, the more he gets up and does. So I hope that's inspired you to just not pathologize what's going on with you. Don't even have to go out there and fix and solve more so than going within, more so than doing an audit on you and your life. And then also remembering to be, create that beautiful heart space, that understanding for your child. If they're not drawn to getting up and doing life, that's what is. Trust the day that they are supposed to be doing it. Their seed of intelligence is going to energetically pull them into what wants to be. We always have energy for what wants to be on our soul path. It's just a matter of waiting for that divine time for when it comes. And as you can see, the energetics are playing out with you and your child. So you have to do the work to meet them there as well. Um, do let me know if you have any questions. Do go onto my website down the bottom. You can sign up for my email. I'm sending out weekly emails with support, offers, all sorts of things. Um, do leave a donation if you feel to, even a coffee. I'm basically getting money together to publish my book, um, which is coming out hopefully very soon, at least by the end of the year. Um, I'm very excited. And then also let me know if you have any topics that you'd like su to suggest for me to talk on. Um, do go onto my channel if you've just found this video. I have playlists of videos under inner work, family work, homeschooling, um, unschooling, food toxins, diagnoses, the new children, mama role, all sorts of things. So yeah, please make use of them and please spread the word on these videos too. They are really important to get out there because this new way is breaking free of the allied health world, mainstream world, and the new age spiritual world, particularly for the mummers that will call themselves heart mummers. This is a new way. See you all. Bye.